Don't let anyone fucking bring you down because of that shit. Fuck those people. My name's Tyrone and I'm a fuck your wife. Long dick style. <laughs> For every time you use my code Mark at checkout on Gorilla Mine, I will increase my dosage of trend by 10 milligrams. You know when you're like fingering the girl? It acts as like a sandpaper G-spot stimulator. Yo, what's going on YouTube? We are back in sunny land, Florida, and we have just got to the Airbnb in Boca. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick house tour. I just went to Walmart, so we are gonna do a sick fucking house tour. Then I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I bought being eight weeks out and having to travel and diet at the same time. And then I'm actually gonna be rolling a previous clip that I took right before I left because tonight I just wanna train for myself. I've been sitting in airports all freaking day and I just need to get some fucking aggression out. My LA filmer is flying in tomorrow. So that's when those edits are really gonna start happening because he's gonna be living with me for a week so we can put out the most insane content ever. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button because this shit is about to get fucking wild. So as you can see, we have like a nice little patio area here. And here's the living room. We have like a 55 inch TV, a super comfortable couch. If I end up having someone sleep over, they can crash on the couch, some chairs, computer, which I won't use because I'm obviously gonna use my own computer. And then we have a full table, full fridge, kitchen, stove, microwave. Obviously you cannot travel on prep without spending the extra money to get a full kitchen you cannot live in and out of hotels being on prep it's just not possible you need to cook your food yourself or you just have to hire a meal prep service but even then the meal prep service isn't really going to cook you eggs in the morning and eggs before you go to bed so your overall protein is going to be lower and it's just not fucking possible one bedroom here which is going to be for my filmer cam maybe he bring home a little honey he gets that room we have a walk-in shower with a bathroom and then this is my room Mirror looking absolutely fucking shredded, bruh. We got a couch, casting couch, wink, wink, sick window there. Taking all my progress pics, like right here where the window is. And then there's a full backyard as well. In that backyard, there is a full, I don't know if you can kind of see. There's like a hammock, a little lawn chair seating area. and then like a little like pool at the end there. So I'm super fucking stoked. This is gonna be an amazing week. With that said, I'm basically gonna unbag everything that we got. All right guys, so there we go. We got all the food. This is probably honestly going to last me almost the entire week. It was $215 USD, which is about $255 Canadian. I'm just gonna go through everything super quick, why I got it. And we actually have a yacht party this Saturday, which my filmer, I, and my best friend are going to with like 10 girls, and we're gonna film one of the best social experiments we've ever done. So I need to make sure that every single day, I'm on fucking point to 120%. I'm actually gonna under eat about 250 calories a day so that when I do drink a little bit on Saturday and Sunday, it kind of like makes up for that difference. Now I know that isn't ideal for prep and I'm supposed to be, oh yo, follow your fucking diet, yo, don't fucking cheat. But like I said in so many different videos, that last prep ruined my life. I became a person that I absolutely hated and I never wanna become that person again. And for me personally, bodybuilding is not as big of a driver for me as getting out there and living my life to the absolute fullest. I like doing everything. I'm not just a bodybuilder, I'm not just a businessman, and I'm not just a fucking party addict, you know? And that's kind of what I wanna get across to this channel that for us that are not planning to be IFBB pros or want to go to IFBB ranks, we can still have a balanced, amazing life and still compete, still get shredded, still look amazing, still be strong, but live with the balance. So enough talking, let's get into this real quick here. So for our meat choices, I have actually been fucking on ground turkey. Kind the 93% lean, 7% fat. Something about ground turkey, turkey right now is just like, ah! Like, it fucking tastes so good. And I think it's because I'm so sick of chicken. But obviously, we got our chicken boobies here. I mean, bigger than most boobies that I see around town. Unless they're, I'm in Miami right now. So I mean, every girl has fake titties here, so. 
But back in Canada, man, everyone, small titty nation. My arm is fucking killing me, so I'm gonna flip this camera around and just go through every item one by one. Bell peppers and some peas. Great, almost no calorie options to, create, to add tons of volume to your food. We have some sugar-free syrup, which I like to put in my oatmeal. We got two bags of this long grain rice. Now, right now, I'm really only allowed 170 grams of rice with my meals, and I'm actually probably only gonna make that 120. Like I said, I'm just gonna try to cut back the carbs a little bit so I can get in shape more quick. We have some frozen blueberries because they stay better longer than the fresh ones. And just in case I don't go through all these, I wanna be able to bring them to the next Airbnb. I got some lemon because I've been squeezing lemon on the chicken and rice for better digestion. We actually got these three 20 gram protein cups, which are 140 calories, only three grams of fat and eight grams of carbs for that entire thing and 20 grams of protein. Like that's actually fucking insane. We got some peanut butter, um, which I also like to put in my oats sometime if my fats are really low. I didn't get any avocados because they go bad so quick. I would rather just get my fats from the peanut butter. Mushrooms, again, a low calorie option to add tons of volume to your food. We have some cheese because I like to take a pinch of cheese and spread it on my eggs just for some extra flavor. Some fat free ranch dipping sauce to go with the shredded lettuce. And I'll probably put the turkey or the ground beef in there. Zucchini, again, no calorie, super high volume. We have some of these Gyro Nutra Carb Watch, whatever. So there's only two grams of carbs in each of these because gra because fiber does not be considered as a carb source. Fiber cannot be digested by the body. It's used just to push things through. So this is actually like an insane option that if I'm in a rush or doing collabs with people, I can put a few turkey, chicken in that wrap, put a pinch of this low fat cheese and I'm good to go. We got obviously the Jello with the sugar-free whipped cream. You guys know from every full day of eating video, that's just my go-to. Turkey bacon to go with my eggs in the morning and night. Egg whites. I got these protein bars just to put in my gym bag. Like I said, we have collabs all day, every day, and I just want to have something if we end up having to go four or five hours without a meal. I would usually bring a protein shake, but they didn't have any protein that was like suitable whatsoever at Walmart, so I just got the protein bars instead. Regular ketchup, because fuck low sodium ketchup. You're actually a fucking loser if that's what you eat and you like stress about ketchup. Just fucking cut it out six weeks out. We got some quick oats. I can't believe it's not butter spray. You guys know the drill with this. Zero, 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 zero. You just have to spray it once, and that's zero calories. We got some eggs. We got some chippets. You guys know, and I already opened them, as you can see, because my fucking go to right now is, is eating those chippets. We got some eggs, and then we got a whole bunch of water, because I don't think that you can drink Florida water or tap water. I don't know 100%, and I do not want to risk it. I've never tried prime in my entire life. So I got two primes, some Diet Mountain Dew and some monsters. I'm actually sitting on one right now. So I actually just posted a YouTube video literally like 10 minutes ago before I loaded up this whole table. And I did bring basically all my Gorilla Mind supplements with me. I did bring a pill case with everything that I need in it day to day. Now I'm not saying that you should do this, but if you just go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, for example, I'm here for 20 days. So I just went to Walmart and I got a tackle box. I'll just show you that looked like this. Now I basically just put 20 dividers in it and made Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for 20 days straight and put every supplement that I have in there so I can just have those every single day. Obviously I brought my Acne Attack skincare and then this is a hack for traveling is I put supplements in shoes because <laughs> it saves so much space. So I brought Rolsifen from Gorilla Mine. This is like my new fasted cardio fat burner. I take this in conjunction with Helios and I brought obviously Gorilla Dream, my EAAs, my pre-workout, my AR. Bro, I literally brought everything. Like half of my suitcase is supplements and lifting stuff and shoes. And then the other half is like as much clothes as I possibly could jam pack. But another reason why I splurged on this place is because there's free laundry in the garage. So with that said, I am actually going to go cook a turkey, rice, and I'm probably gonna have a handful of chippets. I'm not going to lie. Today's been a really long fucking day meal. And then I will see you guys at the gym, but I'm actually gonna be taking you back in time for when we were still training at 613 last week. So I guess to really finalize this is just because you are traveling doesn't mean you need to go completely off off track and if you are traveling I would not make your life fucking miserable as you can see there there are corners that you can take to give yourself leeway in other places like for example if I cut down my carbs if I can go find some cauliflower rice and replace some of that rice with cauliflower rice I'm gonna have a lot of carbs left over at the day so if I go two three or four days with only having a hundred grams of carbs a day instead of having my 200 grams a day and then I end up going out and drinking one day and experiencing life, meeting new people. There's some big life changes that happened. As you can see, like, I'm here alone. I wanna get out there. I wanna live my life to the fullest. And I wanna be able to compete in bodybuilding and powerlifting. And I'm here to show you guys that it's fucking possible. So again, thank you guys so much for the support on the prep so far. I cannot wait to show you guys what we have in store for the rest of this week. And uh, I'll see you guys in the gym. And today we're going fucking hard. We're going fucking heavy. Goal today is to max out any machine that we fucking go. So lap pull downs, gonna try to max this shit out. T-bar cable rows, we're gonna try to max that shit out. Like I said, everyone's like, how do you grow? How do you grow? How do you grow? It's doing as much weight as humanly possible for as many reps as possible. Jeff Nippard actually came out with like the science of progressive overload during a prep for maintaining muscle mass while you're cutting. And the science proves that you have to train heavy 
during a calorie deficit in order to maintain as much muscle as you possibly can. So we're gonna start loading this shit up. We have our Versa grips on today because like I say, the harder you grip something, the more your arms take over. Now I'm done talking. Now we're gonna start working out. Thank you to our filmer, Emmanuel, for making the truck out here. Here's the third link in the description. Make sure you go follow him. And let's roll some funky tunes. Not going off of any rep counts today. I don't even have a theoretical rep count in my mind. I'm going until my body fucking cannot do another fucking rep. We're doing about three or four sets. Set number one doesn't count. That's your warm up set. That was the set that we did like 25 pounds just to activate the muscle. Then set number two, a little bit heavier. Set number three, a little bit heavier. Set number four, balls to the fucking walls. I don't care what you need to do, but go as heavy as you can. If you find that your form is too bad, drop set it. If you can't get enough reps on your drop set, do another fucking drop set. I really don't give a fuck. Do whatever it takes for your body to be crippling and fucking pain after. Cause that is gonna get you to grow. This is our balls to the wall set. That's basically the way that I'm gonna be filming like this whole workout. Is I'm gonna show you like decent form for sets two and three, and then show you how hard we're fucking going on this set four. Yeah. No rest, baby. No rest, baby. I got more, bro. I got more. On this last drop, we're gonna slow this shit down. Full muscle activation. Let's go. I can't move my fucking arms. And that's a fucking set. Only ever seen this machine at 613 lift. So we're basically gonna do one arm at a time because I wanna be able to stabilize my core and pull with this arm. Form is gonna be a little iffy when we get up to four plates, but then on set number four, like I can't stress this enough, like we're gonna do four plates, three plates, two plates, and probably even fucking one plate. So. That's like the intensity that I wanna fucking see. At this eight week out mark, in my personal opinion, this is the shittiest time of the diet. Because when you start dieting, you're like excited to diet again. You're like, yo, I'm fucking doing a show. It's so much fun. Your body starts changing a little bit cause you were eating like shit. And then around that eight week out mark, everything slows down. Your body stops like drastically changing, but yet you're doing the most cardio you've ever done you're eating the least food you've ever ate, and you're taking the most drugs ever. And your body doesn't like look the way it should yet. Like, yeah, for sure, you like look okay, but you, you feel like you should look a lot better because of how hard you're dieting. But then around that like four week out mark from the show, you're like, holy fuck, I'm fucking shredded. I'll eat nothing. I'll do five hours of cardio a day because you're so lean, you're just that hyped up. <clears throat> So around this eight week out mark, I find a lot of people's training intensity really declines because they're like, I have no energy. I don't look very good. This is the point where if you can push yourself in that like eight to four week out mark, that you will make substantial gains. Like people say growing into the prep is impossible. It's because you're not trying to grow into the prep. Right now we're eating over 300 grams of protein a day. Even though our calories are super low, there is a strong possibility that we're gonna put on muscle tissue in the next four weeks. But then around that four week out mark from the show, you can't really put on any muscle tissue just because your body is like too depleted. It just isn't possible. So 
That's why you really need to up the intensity on this eight to four week out mark. So we're gonna start with two plates because our body's already warm. Get these four sets done. But when you're doing these single arms, it's like, fuck, you got the other side. <laughs> Let's go. Fresh place, fresh place, come on. You're not questioning your life. Not even the prep, man. You're fucking life. After each of these sets, then you're doing something wrong. Like, I'm in so much pain right now that I want to be dead. I want to die. Uh, honestly, I have no idea. I actually just want to fucking die because <laughs> we're in a fucking simulation and none of this shit makes sense. But that's a different video for a different time. But no, like, I'm on so low calories, so fucking exhausted, that it would be easier for me to fucking die than do this. If you use the handle with these things, you're a bitch. <laughs> you wanna scrape these hands up. You know when you're like fingering the girl? It acts as like a sandpaper G-spot stimulator. Who needs a sex shop? You can do it yourself. We're all about saving money here. Ain't got money for that. Just kidding, we actually want money for girlfriends in general, so. We just got enough money to buy our steroids and that's it. Make sure you help buy mine on acneotoxicandcare.com. Use my code GORILLAMINE, or no, that's not my code. I think I'm losing my fucking mind. And <laughs> use my code MARK at checkout on GORILLAMINE. For every time you use my code MARK at checkout on GORILLAMINE, I will increase my dosage of trend by 10 milligrams. Make sure you screenshot it and send it to me and let's see if we can get me to a gram of trend a week or a day. Depends how much you guys use my code. <laughs> All right, enough talking. So I'm just sitting at home dripping in sweat. I'm in the car dripping in sweat. It's not fun. All right. <laughs> 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 One more set, which is like three quarters of the stack. And then our last set, we're gonna max the stack out and probably do a triple drop set. So I'm fucking feeling good. My back is like more or less 100%. As long as I like do my core bracing exercises and really keep my core braced during these lifts. I'm telling you, man, me at 100%, you ain't gonna come close. No hate. Speeding, just facts. <laughs> he said it, not me. I'm a humble person. My filmer Emmanuel said just facts. <laughs> we're gonna have to pull something out of our ass here if we're gonna max out this stack. My thing is like, if you do a heavy weight and you get like eight to 10 reps, when you go up in weight again, don't be like, oh, I'm only gonna do four. Aim for the same amount that you just did or more. At a time, it's like mental shit. 
people go heavier so they think they can't do as many reps. So you've already talked yourself out of it before you even did the set. So we're gonna max the stack out and uh, we're gonna aim for at least 10 or 11 reps. And if we don't get 10 or 11 reps, we're gonna drop set it. And even if we do get 10 or 11, we're still gonna fucking drop set it. Don't be a bitch. It's our second last exercise. So you wanna leave the gym feeling like a fucking loser. Especially it's Friday. Like, can't end the week being a loser. This is, uh, this is my death screen. So I, I picture myself at the bottom of this every second of every day. That's why I live with no regrets. I'll say and do whatever the fuck I wanna do every day. Because eventually, you're gonna be in the ground. And everyone you ever knew isn't gonna know who you are. Everyone that didn't like you doesn't exist anymore. And you cannot subconsciously or consciously think for yourself ever again. So why would you not do exactly what you wanna do every single day? Obviously there's limitations to this. I would not go and rob a bank or kill somebody. But if you wanna go pick up a girl, go pick her up. If you wanna ask somebody to collab, go ask. If you wanna open your business and quit your job, fucking quit, open the business. You really have nothing to lose when, you <clears throat> when you're constantly reminded that none of this even matters to begin with. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, fuck, that was heavy. Jesus Christ. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, I'm a winner. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 27, fuck it. We're going full bitch mode. Strict as fuck though. Uh, 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 uh. Oh fuck, uh, I need a defibrillator. Uh, I'm just kidding, let me die. I think that's the most noble way to go out. We're gonna make our way right there. We're gonna, we're gonna do one more pull down, and then we're gonna do like super set, our last back exercise, but same thing with this, is we're actually gonna Lighten the weight a little bit, but like still with tons of intensity because I'm fucking parched. Pause. T.O. Oh, put me back in the game. Put me back in the game. So we're doing one arm at a time, but we're going to hold one arm up. So while we're doing one side, the opposite side is going to be stretching. And I like doing this and holding them both at the same time because sometimes I'll do like five reps on this side five reps on this side, three reps on this side, three reps on this side, as many as possible. So like, be, I, be, 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 be. sorry, but uh, that, uh, that's, that was too much. <laughs> you have the ability to go at whatever pace you want, do as many reps on each side as you want, and really push it to maximum exhaustion. Jesus Christ, what small leg motherfucker was in that? Just kidding, the gym is a judgment free zone. If you get your ass to the gym, no matter what you fucking look like, even if you train twice a week, bro, my biggest fucking respect goes to you. Don't let anyone fucking bring you down because of that shit. Fuck those people. My name's Tyrone, and I'ma fuck your wife. Long dick style. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, fuck that. We're gonna lighten the weight a little bit because I'm a bitch. Holy fuck, that was heavy. Come on, right to failure. Yep, that, I'm barely moving it, that's okay. Woo. It's okay if you like barely move that shit, man. See Johnny Jackson train? Dude has like a fucking inch ROM and he's bigger than all of us, so. 
I don't care if you're, if the weight is kind of off the ground and like gravity's kind of doing its thing, you'll grow. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw up. Not really, but just parched and have indigestion. It's all good though. Let's exercise. Because we're not deadlifting today, we're gonna do hyper extensions. Obviously you guys know I have two severe herniated discs, which they refuse to do surgery on because I'm too young. So we've been doing a lot of work to strengthen my core and strengthen my lower back so that my herniated discs, one, don't hurt as much, two, I can train optimally, and three, I can make my powerlifting come back next year. I'm learning to target my lower back, my glutes, and my hamstrings and strengthen my whole posterior core in order to take more pain off that sciatic nerve. Four or five sets of hyperextensions, but because we're training back and we haven't really done much upper, upper back today, we're gonna go right to the shrug machine. I'll just show you guys. We're gonna lean real forward and we're gonna do doubles like this. It's gonna work a lot of rear delts, a lot of upper rhomboids, and a little bit of traps. I'm not a huge believer in training traps, but because we're trying to develop a full physique, and we haven't done much upper back, we're gonna superset it with those. So I'm gonna do about five or six sets of this, but we're just gonna film two of the sets so our filmer can get on the way because it's fucking Friday and uh, I don't know. I don't know what he does Fridays, but you know, it's Friday. <laughs> That's good, guys. So I'm gonna do like three or four more sets of that and then cardio, and then, yeah, that was pretty aggressive. So, yeah, thanks to Emmanuel. Third link in the description. If you're in Ottawa or surrounding, hit him up for filming. Make sure you go follow him. Make sure you go follow me because that would also be cool. Uh, if you buy anything from my shit, thank you for the support. I really think that this whole being humble shit is like people's worst fucking enemy. People's like, downfall is being too humble. You need to be so confident in yourself that you are a fucking monster. So I really am gonna do two different outros because I don't know what the fuck this video is going for because we just film fucking content. That's all we fucking do. This is our fucking life. Almost every single video we fucking do gets age restricted, gets limited ads, we make no fucking money and I'm investing all my own money to make this shit happen. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the very next video. And if I don't see you guys in the very next video, that means I'm gonna see you at home for whatever the fuck this video was in. And thank you again for watching and still hit the subscribe button. <laughs>